Hey everybody, Goldie here, and today we're taking a look at the newest character in WWE Champions for this weekend's showdown contest, and uh, it's the real. It's the real. It's Iron Sheik, Hall of Fame, Bubba. Um, don't worry, I have a bleeper ready for this preview. Um, I am a big fan of him. I love his tweets. I love his vignettes. I love his promos. Like, I will do horrible impressions of him the entire time. Um, but, yeah. I have a bleeper. Don't worry. Uh, so, I have two videos for you. The first video is going to be without gear. I'm going to have four builds for that. The second video is going to be one move set with one gear and two move sets with both gears. And then I have a fun little um, K-Fab, K-Fabe, whatever. I'm going to do a really bad chic impression for a tag match. So uh, you're warned now. I don't know if you, uh, if you want to stay tuned for that, but it'll be interesting. Um, so... I'm just going to start by showing that I don't have the gears equipped. They are in my inventory, but they are not equipped. Um, again, with the whole statue, but things are twirling. Um, whatever, conversation for another day. So this is what the gears do. One gear, again, does not matter if it's silver or gold. Green submission moves do 30% more damage per turn. And if you have both gears, Silence Gems do 300% more damage. So those will be shown in a later video. Take a quick look at the card here. And excellent. Um, so he was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame in 2005. So he is a focused technician. He is a coach. Take less damage from blue moves. Now he does have a similar coach ability to Acro Trish, but the 18k ability is where it gets interesting. And if anybody was going to be a counter for Hogan, it had to be Sheik. Am I right? Fuck the Hogan. Um, so any color move starting MP reduced by one for the opponent. So that basically counters the Santa Hogan 17k ability of plus one MP. Um, that was planned perfectly in my opinion. Just perfectly. Links. Just the standard Hall of Fame. Any color move start with four more move points again. Silver and gold gear which are not currently equipped. So... Let's take a look at the moves. First thing we're going to look at is a three-star build. Uh, the Camel Clutch, 10 MP submission. Place six submission gems and do 29,147 damage for eight turns while submission gems are on the gem board. Remaining submission gems turn into multiply gems of strength five. Green two, which is the Iranian drop, also 10 MP. Deal 143,570 damage and choose six gems to destroy. And blue two is the side belly to belly suplex, 8 MP. Deal 45,413 damage and choose six gems to make into green gems. Um, I'm not going to be using Razor for this video. Um, one, because I know a lot of people still don't have him. And two, I really don't think he's necessary. Uh, so you don't need to worry if you don't have Razor, you'll be fine. Entourage for this. We're going to start with Lawler uh, for more blue MP to start. Uh, Striker Stone Cold for 50% more damage on the submission. Uh, Tech Angle would do the same thing. You could do Super Sub and use um, Trickster Bray for three war turds as well. Sorry, I'm trying not to yawn. Um... I'm going to go with Acro J for 10% more damage on the submission and 10% more damage on green moves. And then Showboat Lacey for more green gem damage. At this level, his base green gem damage is high enough that Lacey is better than Santa Hogan. 
Uh, but at lower rarities, Santa Hogan is probably the better play. For the belt, we're going full Fury with a green move and green gem focus. Um, my move metal is terrible, but I'm not worried about move damage with this build. I'm more worried about the gem damage. And we're going to use an all heart plate. So whenever you generate three or more submission gems, increase your green and purple gem damage by 100% for two turns. So the thought process behind all of this is we're going to get to the sub, we're going to place the submission gems on green, and then we're going to use the Iranian drop to destroy them and boost our green gem damage up the wazoo. Uh, now, unfortunately, we're going against a technician, but um, I have faith. I have faith. Uh, so let's see how this one looks. Again, chic the real. Um, okay, so that's gonna go on turn one. I'm not worried, he's not using the sub, he's just doing his whatever build. Uh, so we'll just do that. Thought for sure that was just gonna randomly crash, but. You go ahead and pin us. You go ahead and pin us. This is fine. So we'll kick out. We're going to make ourselves three match so we can get that charged up. Uh, let's go there. And then I want to scatter some of these around just to give us some option for placement. I also like I'm not going to put them here because he'll match those. Um, but let's take a look. So base green gem damage before the plate triggers is 18,286. So now we're going to use the submission and we're going to place them on greens. Again, I really don't want him to break them. He's probably going to get a couple. You could use Chiampa um, to reduce your submission turns. I do have that planned for another build. Oh God, abolish the board shuffle noise. Okay, well, he left us three. You really only need two. If they're turning into multiply gems of strength five, you really only need two. What you could do is also um, put them on blue gems, but if you only need two to get these two moves cycling, go for as much green gem damage as possible. So after the plate triggers, we are at 29,631. And with the Multiply Gem of Strength 5, our green gems are now doing 148,155 damage. Um, so, ouch! That's gonna hurt. And basically what you're gonna do is use the Iranian Drop as a second finisher. Um, because while Submission Gems... Submissions are all well and good, it's not a tech Brock sub where you can drain 2 million health right away. So you'll want that secondary pseudo finisher in the Iranian drop and do a bunch of damage. Ooh, that was close. You could also go full armor um, if you wanted to help keep them down. Your green gem damage would obviously be less. Uh, but their kickout ability would be awful. So that's one of the three star moves. No, you shut up, Brett. Jabroni. Um, let's take a look at another three star build. Second three star build we're going to take a look at is green two with double blue. So we're bringing in blue one. 
uh, the back rake, 7 MP, deal 32,222 damage and make all green gems into silence gems. Um, so this build will probably make a lot more sense with both of his gears, but I want to show it without just so we get an idea of like what the gears actually do for it. So the Iranian drop, and so basically turn all the green gems into silence gems, charge up the Iranian drop, and then pick off the silence gems for big damage, hopefully, but not without the gears. Um, so Lawler for more blue MP. Uh, we're going to go Tech Booker for more green gem damage. You could also do Striker, um, not Striker, uh, Trickster Kane for 35% more silence gem damage. Uh, Gargano. He was, the extra silence gem won't matter because it's turning all of one color, but he does give us 15% more damage. And then we're going to stick with Showboat Lacey and just kind of um, buff all that green gem and silence gem damage as we can. For the belt, again, we're sticking with Full Fury, but I'm bringing in the Honky Tonk Blues Plate. So whenever you break three or more green gems, get three blue move points at the end of your turn. This will help us recycle the blue moves. So let's see how this looks without the gears. So that's ready to go. Um, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. I'm going to be patient and I'm going to wait. So, I'm going to use this first. Oh, that's going to cascade. Ick. Whatever. Okay, that worked. So I'll make all green gems into silence gems. Love the audible. And then choose six gems to destroy. Gonna kinda be like Slick Rick style here. Sorry, Merricks. And then we'll grab a blue gem. So 22,257 damage for the green and silence gems without the gear. I'm going to keep a note of that for the next preview. Uh, but that kept him down. Interessant. All right. That was uh, surprisingly... That was better than I thought it was going to be. Again, probably, like, obviously it's going to be more ideal with the gears. But let's keep going. Uh, let's take a look at a four-star build for him. The four-star build that we're going to take a look at is double red with green two. So red one is the gut buster, one MP, deal 4,700 damage, not thousand, and modify a two by four random area into silence gems. Uh, red two, the fireman's carry slam, six MP, Deal 28,006 damage and make 10 silence gems into green gems. And we're going to use that with the Iranian drop. Choose some gems to destroy with um, an aftershock plate and hopefully recycle everything. Very similar entourage to the build we looked at previous, but instead of Lolly, we're using Butch for uh, more red MP. Again, this is a build that would look really good with both gears, but I want to show it without just so we have an idea. Um, I've switched to full armor for this build um, with the hope that we can maybe keep them down once we use green two and using an aftershock plate. So whenever you break three or more green gems, get three red move points at the end of your turn. Um, again, 
would look better with both gears. We'll be showing it with both gears in another video, so stay tuned for that, but let's see how it looks without. So, I mean, you could just flood the entire board with silence gems, but I also want to have a little bit of control. Let's flood the board with silence gems first. That's brutal move damage for a 1 MP move. Just saying. Also, I'm fully aware that I said let's flood the board with silence gems, then proceeded not to. Don't at me. I know what I'm doing. Sometimes. Oh, I thought for sure it was going to cover up the same damn area. Uh, so I'm just taking a look at what the damage is without gear. Reminder, we're doing armor instead of fury. So I'm noting this down for when we try it with the gears. And I'll run the exact same builds. Um, so we can 10 random silence into green. So we could get all of these. We could get all of those. We could get some weird mix of both where nothing cascades. Um... Fingers crossed. Nice. Oof. But come on, stay down. F. Armor build would probably be better with the gears. I think without, you would still need to go Fury if you want any shot of keeping them down. Because this is rough otherwise. But... Putting out an area of Silence Gem, then destroying one red gem with this... ...is a decent tactic. The problem is, it's random. And you don't get to control which silence gems you turn into green when there's more than 10. You could use Razor, but I don't... I don't see this being his ideal build anyways. Yeah, see that was rough, because nothing happened in this top left corner. One hour later. Not a fan. Thankful for the aftershock plate on kickouts that charge up that move, though. And probably should have gone with a red move metal if we're using the fireman's carry slam as like a pseudo finisher. That would have definitely helped. Okay. So normally I'd complain about it covering up, but I want to connect as many of these as possible. So whatever, I'll take it.
Or not. Two hours later. Come on, Alistair Black. You no good jabroni mother piece of sh Many hours later. Do you have the A to the Z for me? Can you go f and get it? Because this is taking forever. Many unbearable hours later. This move set worse than that jabroni. No good mother f***er Hulk Hogan. Much, much, much later. But hey, at least it recycles. The next day. Cutscenes in this preview video for this move set are gonna be lit. Absolutely lit, because I'm not making y'all walk sit through this whole thing. Six hours later. Oh come on! Six and a half hours later. God damn! Two thousand years later. Does he have steps equipped or something? What the f Eventually. Yay! <laughs> F***ing hell. Oh, good god, it's over. Worse than that no good jabroni mother f***er Colgan. No good jabroni piece of sh all right, five star build, let's go. So the last build we're going to take a look at without the gears is triple green. So it's a five star build, bringing in the uh, green one camel clutch, green two Iranian drop, and green three is the standing drop kick, six MP, deal 5,994 damage, and swap a one by four random area into green gems. Again, abysmal move damage. Um, but I'm going gem damage base because of it. Not because of it. I wanted to anyways, but like, ugh, it helps anyways. Uh, so steal for more green MP with level three tour perks. This is ready to go on turn one. Tech booker for 35% more damage to green gems. Uh, bringing in Chiampa for two less turns on the sub because I want to keep as many of those multiply gems on the board as possible. And then Lacey because at this level... 20% is going to be better than the 1100 I'll get from Santa Hogan. Lower rarities, consider making the switch to Santa Hogan. For the belts, I have returned to All Fury. I tried to level up my move medal like an idiot, and I got one level out of it. Um, but we're going to use the All Heart Plate again. So whenever you generate three or more submission gems, green and purple gem damage increases by 100% for two turns. And basically use green three to load up everything, hit your sub, place the sub gems on green, and then pick them off with the Iranian drop. And I'm excited for this. Tons of potential even without the gear. Um, honestly, the gear just adds a little bit more sub damage, but this I think is going to be the build. So, let's see. So, base green gem damage with our metal and substats is 22,257. And thankful for the flat green, um, the flat green move metal that adds a little more makes that a little more viable. So, camel clutch. In six turns because we're using Champa. And lose one. Nice. All right, so now with the all heart plate, it's gone from 22,000 to 33,602. 
and multiplying that by 5 is 168,010 damage per green gem. And let's just go kaplop. Bah! Million damage. Love it. Straightforward. That all heart plate is the key for that build. And everyone should have like five of those plates. I know I have a lot more than I wanted. Um, but that is... That's fun. That's a lot of fun. Um, so let's go ahead and wrap up the review. So that's it for 5 Star Gold Hall of Fame Iron Sheik without the gears. I will have a second video coming out shortly after this one, uh, showcasing both of his gears, um, one of the gears first for a build, and then both of the gears. And um, then I'm probably going to play around with some tag matches, have a little bit of fun with it. Um, so let me know what you think. I'm really happy we have a second Sheik in the game. Thoroughly enjoy his tweets. <laughs> Very entertaining guy. Um, let me know what you think of this character. What was your favorite build? Was there a build that I didn't try that you'd be interested to see? Again, another preview is coming out with gear. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you're notified when my next gameplay video comes out. Thank you again for watching, and thank you for being a friend. Put it on me, and look at put it on me, and look at put it on me.